It is merely an attempt to influence this intelligent, broad-minded, and most intellectual jury. Bud Jameson was born in 1894 in California. If any of you out there enjoy old Hollywood films and shorts, there's a real chance that you may recognize Mr. Jameson. He would appear in 450 films between 1915 and 1944. I became familiar with him for the many Three Stooges shorts that he appeared in. He didn't mind to participate in slapstick comedy and that would guarantee him work in shorts. He was a member of the Charlie Chaplin Stock Company and would move on to Hal Roach Studios. He would not only appear in shorts, but he actually began in silent films. He was a fantastic singer and could often be heard singing in his films. He was working for Columbia Pictures in their shorts department when Columbia began producing the Three Stooges. He would actually work with the Stooges for many years and would appear in their very first short. His death would lead to conflicting reports and Either way, it was tragic. Even the cause of his death is disputed. He was a devout Christian scientist and developed a blood infection. His beliefs would not allow for a transfusion that may have saved his life. Now, some of his surviving family members would say that wasn't the case and he had developed a terrible case of phlebitis in his leg and would not seek treatment due to his the show must go on work ethic. The family would say that caused a blood clot. His death certificate would list mesenteric thrombosis with carcinoma of the kidney as a contributing factor. Bud Jameson holds a huge place in Hollywood history, and I wanted to remember him on my channel. Have any of you out there ever seen his work? He would pass away in 1944 at the age of 50. Mr. Jameson is laid to rest in Inglewood Park Cemetery in Inglewood, California.